Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be taking a very very basic look at creating some very very basic synthwave sounds using Spire. So I'm going to show you a few of the techniques you can use in Spire, a few things to look out for. Um, this will help if you're wanting to just create some basic sounds or if you've got some sounds and you're wanting to change them slightly. Because um, like I said before, using presets and then changing them to how you want them is a great way to learn the the sound, the, the synths and, and get the sounds that you want. So I've made a very, very simple um, uh, couple of patterns here. I'll play through it for you, and then I'll add the sounds in one at a time, and I'll, I'll make the sounds, and I'll show you some of the different things you can use and different things you can look out for in Spire to try and create um, them sounds. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with the bass sound. Just assign all these to the same. Um Start with the sort of bass sound, so we'll load up Spire. Now one of the things I'll show you in Spire, um, sometimes I don't always keep my VSTs up to date, unless there's big massive changes in the VST or something added in that I'll actually like, same with FL Studio, I, I just won't update it. But one of the things I've noticed with Spire is it does crash quite a lot when I start to get complex sounds going. So one of the things you can do if, if you find Spire crashing is you can go into uh, processing and use fixed buffer size and this will stop it from crashing for you. So here's the default sound. So these are the different oscillators you've got here. And all the different oscillators default to sort of the, the saw sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the volume oscillator one up. We're going to bring it down two semitones. We're going to activate oscillator two. We're going to turn that up. I'm going to bring that down two semitones. All let's do is bring oscillator one down by three semitones. Okay, oscillator one, we're going to add some, some voices in there. Uh, we'll add eight in. And then we'll go to oscillator two. We'll add eight in again. So now it's starting to sound good. So we'll just detune this one ever so slightly and detune this one the other way ever so slightly. And then we'll turn this to the detune section. So we'll play that. Oscillator 2, what we'll actually do with that is we'll use this wide button and we'll make the sound wider. And then turn down the volume a little bit on the second oscillator. Then we'll go over to the EQ section. We'll turn the EQ on, we'll add a bit of bass and a little bit of high end. Then we'll turn on the compression slightly. What we'll then do is give it a bit of a, so this is controls the volume, so adding this will add release onto the track. Okay, so now we want to do is we want to, it's too too open, we want to bring it down a bit. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go to the cutoff filter, add a cutoff in. Now by default, this is the envelope for your cutoff, as you can see there. A great sound straight away. So there we have a very, very basic, very nice sounding bass line. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to the second. Um, I'm going to go to this is the, sort of the um, pedal pad sort of um, riff. So with this one, let's play it. Okay. So let's first of all add some voices in. Let's make it wide. Want that nice and wide. And let's add a bit of release. I like the sound of that straight away. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make it a bit more rated. So we're going to go down to the LFO here. Um, we're going to click off here. I'm going to change this to the pitch. So this LFO is now going to control the pitch. Um, so we're going to change it to sync. We'll leave it at one one four. And then by turning this knob up, it will add more more sort of pitch bend to it. Okay. 
And there we have it moving quite nicely there. So we're going to go over to the effects section. We're going to add some reverb. I'm going to add some delay. I'm going to make the delay very wide. Sounding pretty good so far. So now we're going to move on to the third one, which is the ARP sound. Um, and we're not going to use Serum. Nope. I'm going to stick with Spire. Again, stop it from crashing. Let's build this up a bit then. Let's go with some voices. So like I said, so this is going to oscillate a one here. Um, but this is your basic sort of saw sound. You can move this and it makes it into a sine wave. Or you can move this and it makes it into a square wave. So we'll go with square wave. What we'll then do is we'll add some EQ and stuff on here. What we'll then do is we'll do the very same thing what we did with the bass line to get a nice plucky sound going. So again, let's make it more 80s, LFO, um, pitch, three. This time bring it right down to maybe one sixteenth. That sounds pretty good too. So next we'll move on to the, the lead sound. And we'll look at something slightly different in this one as well. Again, get the processing on there so it's not bugging and lagging out. Let's play this. Let's give it a bit of release. So what I'm going to do is go into this, this shape here. I'm going to add some distortion into it. to add this in as well and uh, we're going to go into pitch and what's oh, sorry i'm going to lf4 we're going to go into pitch one again sync it up add it in just to give it that sort of 80 sort of pitch bendy sound Sounds pretty good as it does there. So we'll play it in the in the track. So 
I just want to beef this up by adding in an extra, an extra LF4. Not also like. And we're going to detune it. Um, so that sounds pretty good. Now, I'm going to show you something else we can do with this. We're going to have a sort of pitch bendy effect. So we're going to go to Matrix. And we're going to change this one to Mod 1. So this is now this. And the trigger is going to be the pitch of Oscillator 1. And then Trigger 2 is going to be Oscillator 2. Bring these up here. Like that. So what this will now do is once once when we move this knob, it will change the pitch of this one. Let's now add this macro into the actual track. What we can do is sort of here, and we can add a nice bit of pitch bend in. Let's play all the sounds together, see what we get. And again, you can play about with that, we can remove less. There you go guys some very very basic sounds you can make in uh inspire um and some of that i've showed you some of the parameters that you can tweak yourself to um to, to sort of change the sound of, of how you sort of want it what i will do guys is i will save this fop um and i will also save these sounds um and i'll leave them in the comments below so if you've got fl studio you can download the fop if you don't have a first studio but you want the presets i'll leave them in a little mini bank as well so you can grab it from the comment section below but guys that's about it for this video thanks for watching